Okay, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to make a dinner dish. Um, it's called lemon chicken. It's a very easy recipe. Um, to make this you'll need a small tray that's big enough to put about three to four chicken breasts. Um, I'm actually going to use chicken thighs because I think they taste better. But you can use um, chicken breasts or thighs or like chopped up chicken will work as well. Um, but I find that if you have fairly big pieces, it cooks a bit better. Now, you'll also need some plain white flour and some paprika. Um, there's like sweet and there's smoky. I'm just using sweet. It doesn't really matter which one. You need one lemon and you'll need a bag. I'm going to use a mushroom bag, but you can use like a plastic bag if you don't have one. Um, it's just to batter the, as to make the batter for the chicken. So the first step is to get get your four pieces of chicken. Okay, so you have to make the batter out of paprika and white flour. You need about one uh, one tablespoon of paprika to maybe three tablespoons of flour or four tablespoons of flour, something like that and put these two ingredients, the paprika and the flour, put that in the bag and then put the chicken in the bag one at a time and we'll just coat the chicken in the bag just by hand like just kind of shake it around in the bag just to cover it with the mixture of the plain flour and the paprika so I'll do that now okay so it's, this is three um, spoonfuls of flour and one spoon of paprika And just put them in the bag and mix them together, so just drop it. So this is what's going to form um, the batter for the chicken. So then just put one piece at a time and shake it in the mixture. Um, if it's not strong enough, you can put more paprika in it. You don't want so much that it's like red but um, you might find that you need a bit more for flavour. Okay, so once you've um, dusted the chicken, just put it in a tray and just squeeze some lemon juice over it. Make sure some of it goes on the chicken, but it doesn't have to all go on the chicken. This will give it a really nice flavour. Um, it's important that you don't put too much though because you don't want it to be sour. Um, so just put enough. Just to make it moist. And then the next step is just drizzle some oil around it. Um, once again, don't put too much, but enough so that they don't burn to the tray. Then you have to cover it with foil and just put it straight in the oven for um, probably about 20 minutes, something like that, or 20 or 30 minutes, something like that. And don't cook it too hot, but say about 100 and 160 to 180 on an electric oven. That's in Celsius, by the way. Okay, so while the chicken's cooking in the oven, um, it's a good idea to get some vegetables um, this dish goes quite well with carrots and um, any kind of green vegetable. I'm using broccoli and also cook some rice because the juice from the lemon um, over the chicken makes this nice um, sauce and so when you pour it when you pour it over the rice it'll give it a really good flavor. So I won't use this whole broccoli um, probably about a half or a third something like that. So I just steam them. For the carrot, um, I'm just going to steam the carrot, I just, sorry, I'm just going to boil the carrot. Um, if you want an extra bit of flavour, you can put one or two teaspoons of cumin. Um, this will give it a bit more flavour, it'll, it'll give it a slight, slight spiciness and if you like your vegetables to be sweet, you can put another uh, one or two if you put one or two teaspoons of honey, 
that tastes quite good as well. Two teaspoons will probably be too sweet. It just depends how you like them. Okay, so now it's probably a good idea to um, put the rice on if it's not on already because it'll take about 20 minutes before everything's ready. I'm just using white jasmine rice. You can use any type of white rice or it doesn't have to be white, you could use brown rice or wild rice even. I find that Thai rice has the best flavour, but in terms of brand it doesn't really matter. Now if you've never made rice before, um, the usual way is about one cup of rice to three cups of water. Or if you're doing what I'm doing, the rice cooker, I normally just put one sanded cup like this, like one glass, and just fill it up. Um, there'll be markings on the inside of the rice cooker, so it will tell you how far you have to fill up the water. Then just turn it on and make sure that you put it to cook because by default they're normally set to warm which is not going to do much good. Then it will it'll stop cooking when it's ready. It normally takes about 20 minutes. So while this is happening we can get the vegetables started. Okay so you boil the carrots with some cumin and the broccoli until it's bright green and um, if you get a fork and you just push it into carrots it should be soft enough so that it's um, it, it will stay on the fork like it won't fall off but it should be pretty easy to get off the fork and the same with the broccoli you don't want it to be um, kind of dark green because that means you've overcooked it so once it looks like this you can take it off the um, stove and just drain it and it's ready to serve and this is what the chicken looks like. So this one was cooking for about 25 minutes and um, I leave the foil on the whole time because that makes sure that all the juices stay in and it keeps the chicken very moist. Um, so it's pretty much ready to serve. So enjoy your chicken dinner. So that's the final product and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's got a delicious flavor and you can smell it before you eat it. So um, make sure you pour some of the juice from the chicken just over the rice. It'll give it a really good flavor and I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. I'll see you next time.